Thanks, Ben. I'll keep you posted. You do me here. What I should have done from the off. You can't carry the camp for this. I'm too right, Paul. Oh, yeah. Thanks for Ben's expensive legal mind have let me out on bail. Bail? Well, if I go and explain... Then I'll have lied to the police. You're a husband trying to protect his wife. They'll understand. You think that'll cut any ice? I'll have committed an offence. Maybe, but not as bad as hitting somebody and leaving the scene. Look, this is not the time to discuss the finer points of English law. We need to get out of here before we both end up in bother. Here we go. The Dominican Republic. It was there, in black and white, in his diary. Going there with his fancy woman. What? The woman you saw in the hotel? Guzzling champagne, they were. Then they waltzed upstairs. They went into the room together. I could hear them giggling. Oh, oh don't. You were listening at the door. Giggling as they went in. No doubt plotting how to spend our money. It's Archie's money, technically. Can't believe Lewis would be so indiscreet. You sure it was him? Absolutely. I mean, it was the best room in the house, of course. Oh. I checked. If you get a gram with this, be your word against his. And I know who my money's on. That's why I got evidence. I took a snap as they went in. Exhibit A. Hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, these wretched phones. Look, you're just going to have to keep your powder dry. How was she? Yeah, she's holding up. Got a few things off her chest. Say that again. She always did have a wallop on her, but I suppose it's no more than a deserve. Tried to get hold of him, Ram, but he knocked off early. Great. Look, what, what if I go to the police or the judge and explain? The damage is done, love. Your little performance put Sally's head in the noose, no doubt about it. So taking it back isn't going to get her out anytime soon. Paula made that very clear. Did she? Yeah. So unless Duncan miraculously decides to confess, my mum is stuffed for the foreseeable thanks to you. Please, I'll do anything you ask. I just want to make this right. You heard what my mum's just said. She doesn't have a sister. You're dead to her. The same goes for the rest of us. I went to the hospital. Liz was out for the count, but they say she's going to be all right. You sound disappointed. Of course I'm not. But <sighs> what if she remembers it was me in the car and goes to the police? That's a chance we'll have to take. I told him it was all down to my MS. Not my finest hour, but needs must. At least I won't be looking at death by dangerous driving. You shouldn't be looking at anything. This is my fault. No, it's down to me. I'm the reason that you were behind that wheel. At least this way I can undo some of the damage I've done and do right by my wife for once. Yeah, but it's going to be no good to me if you're behind bars. Kate and Carla are worried. They're going to want answers. Oh. Then they'll have to wait. You're my priority now. And if the worst does happen, well, I've always looked good in stripes. Don't even joke about it. I don't want to lose you. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. We just need to keep our heads and stick to our story. So it was a 63 break? When was that? I was way back, you know, when I was in the Navy. So you had a snooker table in your submarine? No, we were on shore leave. In Calhoun it was. Missed this red over the middle pocket. But like I say. Very reasonable. I should come to game as well. Can I apologize for him? Oh, I'm used to it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, talk about tourists. You might as well have a camera around your neck and a guidebook in your hand. Oh, I don't know. Try and help people out and they'd shoot you down in flames. This isn't exactly my comfort zone. Well, I never told you to come out. Did I? Oh, you are happy to be here, though. I mean, I hope we're not presuming any. Look, a bar's a bar, whether it's the red line or the wing chimp. I don't need you to cheer me up. Hey, look, I've been where you are. Everyone needs a leg up to get back on the horse, and I am more than happy to bend over and stick my hands out. I'm sure you're not the only one. Are you trying to be offensive? No, 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 no. What, what? 
I mean is that there are loads of girls here. Be happy to go out with you. More fish in the sea. Yeah, look, this place is crawling with prospects. I'd be out there myself if this was a straight. <laughs> and if I was single <laughs> too, obviously. Yeah. Well. Uh, can I get a bag of crisps? What flavour? And you don't care, do you? What? Talk about reckless, plain crisp Russian roulette. Don't want a packet of Worcester sauce going off in your face. Oh, I've always been a daredevil, me. Tiff, Rana. I was waiting for a mate, but it looks like she's blown me out. I'm mm, sorry. It's all right, we're not an item. Who are your friends? Oh, uh, they're not friends, exactly. Not of this parish, either. Is it that obvious? <laughs> When the bloke was at the bar, he kept scratching himself and talking about his girlfriend. Was the sauce all right? <laughs> Hello? Hello? You're not going to an answer. Not when you want to hear, anyway. How do you know? Well, it's hardly one invest the three frames, is it? What is it? Whatever wrote that. Whoever. It's the intruder. Well, it might not be from this world. Don't be so daft. You've been playing too many of them zombie games, you. Well, enough time to know what that shape means. It's a star. It's a pentangle. She's using devil worship. How do you know? Chainless Wonders too. Chainless what? A computer game. You get chased around this stately home by a bunch of posh zombies trying to eat the servants and they all make a, a pentangle with the polo sticks. You winding me up? No, I swear I'm not. That's evil spirits, isn't that? Maybe we should just go, Dad. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Right, so what's that, then? What's known in the trade is a smoking gun. Hope you've got the kettle on. I've had a day off. And who should I bump into in town? Mrs Carnegie, she was banging on about her husband's truss. I mean, I might just as well have been at work. Have you heard from Lewis at all? Oh, no. I know better than to come between Lewis and his barber. I mean, I'm a hairdresser. He won't let me touch a hair on his head. Hell of a long hair cut. Having an updo, is it? I choose to ignore that, thank you. Actually, do you know something? I reckon that he's uh, actually gone to the sales on his own because I think he's planning to surprise me. Damn right he is. Oh! Has he told you? I didn't know you were suddenly bosom buddies. Oh, so what's he planning? Weekend away? A new handbag? Come on, I, I, I won't tell him you've told me. Look, I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. Gives me no pleasure at all. Well, maybe just a little bit. Well, actually, hell of a lot, if I'm honest. But that's because of him, not you. I ain't seen you hurt. What are you talking about, Gail? Lewis isn't at the sales. He isn't buying you jewellery. He's with another woman in a hotel bedroom. And it's not a twin. So much for you giving Lewis a second chance. I thought that was too good to be true. I mean, you know, I never asked you to like him after what he did, but, I mean, to concoct a story like this... I saw him with my own eyes. They were having a meal, champagne, the lot, and they were up them stairs two at a time. Well, that sounds like a right recipe for indigestion to me. <laughs> You've got to take this seriously, ma'am. I was watching from a discreet distance. Discreet? And... Please, you. You'd have been round that place before he could even start nibbling a breadstick, let alone anything else. Do you think I'd make this up? Yes, I do. Because you would do anything to put the kibosh on me and Lewis. 
is planning to fleece you on New Year's Day. Oh, well, we're going out New Year's Eve. What's he going to do? Suddenly disappear on the last chimes of Big Ben? Well, I wouldn't put anything past him. If they start a conga, I should hold on tight. He's planning to rip you off and escape to the Dominican Republic. Yeah, how many have you had? Well, I had to blend in at the hotel. <sighs> Fifty odd quid for three glasses of champagne. Anyway, the point is that the UK doesn't have an extradition treaty with the Dominican Republic. I know, because I checked on it. Do you know, you really have lost it this time. I, I honestly think you should see someone. Ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not listening to another word. I'm trying to protect you. Protect me? You destroyed what I had with Lewis once before. Sat on my shoulder like Jiminy Cricket in a striped blazer, poisoning my ears. So not this time, lady. Really, not this time. Call him. Call him now. Ask him about the hotel and the woman. See what he says. I know what he'd say, Gail. He'd say, if I don't trust him, then it's all over between us. And unless I will phone him if you can give me proof that all this happened. Yes, well, I'm, I did try taking photographs. I'm telling you the truth. Do you know, I'd rather listen to Mrs Carnegie going on about her husband's hernia. At least that's got something to support it. I'm not even sure I hit something. How could you not know? I had a bit of a turn. A turn? So you're not well again? I don't want to worry you. But, so what, did you black out or what? I don't know, all right. Look, I can't tell you any more than I told the police. All right, Jenny, fair enough. Well, let's just hope the police get to the bottom of it then. Yes, pal. Excuse me. Do you have to eat these? I've got 16 bucks to get me. I reckon I'm going to turn into a monkey. <laughs> let's just take it as another rung up the evolutionary ladder, shall we? You what? Please. All right, please, because I don't want to be fishing your nuts out of my pint all night. Sorry. Psst. Peter? Hey, boys. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if ever I was going to fall off the wagon, tonight's the night. No, 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 no. You know why you've seen a ghost? Yeah. You were right about that, Stuka. Oh, there's an ugly presence in there. Or at least there was. A presence? Yeah. Something from the other side, Dev. Other side of what? The Pennines, Kurt. What do you think? There's something in there, you know, supernatural, you know? This... It's this black ball butcher you were talking about. Come, come, Peter. This is just a legend. Oh. A legend who writes 666 on the wall. I doubt it was talking about. His eyes break. What are you going to do? Well, he's made it very clear he don't want me in there. So I'm never going to set foot in that place ever again. Yeah, but you're going to have to, mate. You know why? Because you just bought the place. No, I didn't. And I'll tell you this, Dev, I won't be. Yeah, wait a minute, you, can't, you can't pull out now. Oh, I can, and I have. I spoke to the estate agent. All right, yeah. I've lost the deposit. But what's a couple of grand compared to being tormented by the undead? Well, well you could have an exorcism or something. An exorcism, Kirk. I signed up for a snooker hole, not the flaming Amateurville house. No. Tell you what, boys. I'm better off out of it. Thanks to you. You look pleased with yourself. What's the name? Kirk. Wow. I didn't see that coming. No, neither did he. He'll rue the day he tried to make a mug out of me. Oh. Here. So, are you doing something special for New Year, then? No. Just counting down the seconds till 2018 is truly done with. Weather was all right? <laughs> Not the only thing. Just when I think everything's starting to settle down again, Johnny comes flying off the rail. Nobody was ever on them to start with. Well, if it's any consolation, it's just exactly the same in our house. Oh, everything has to be a competition with you, doesn't it? Even misery. No, I didn't mean that. It's just Dad's getting older and swords or pistols drawn every time he sees Daniel with muggins here caught in the crossfire. Well, you should get out more. So should you. Hey, it sounds like we could have the makings of a plan. Very bad one. Plus, you'll be too busy with your new empire, won't you, to be off gallivanting? 
It's exciting, though. Hey, do you fancy a peek? Is there anything to peek at? Loads, if you use your imagination. <laughs> I'm too tired to use my imagination tonight, thank you. Plus, my bath is calling, so maybe another time. Scrub your bag. <laughs> you wish. So, you finally managed to tear yourself away. Oh, she's nice. She doesn't mean we're moving in together. Do you want another drink? I think we might be cramping your style, so we're going to move. Don't do anything I would do. <laughs> Just take him home, will you? Had enough, had they? Oh, they mean well. No, at least your brother will be able to go to the gents now. Oh, no, no, he's he's not like that. He's just my big brother. It's bad enough I'm riding shotgun you thought I was straight. I was just weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I'm stuck at work. Oh, hello, you. Hi. That's, have, you, have you guys met? Uh, yeah. She went out with my ex. Awkward. Why? We're all grown-ups. I'm surprised. I always knew you had a thing for her. And looking at Kate's social media, I thought Cupid had scored 180 with you pair. What happened? Maybe she's come out tonight to forget about it. No, it's fine. It didn't work out. Sorry to hear it. So how's Kate taking it? Hoping she might want a shoulder to cry on. I'm just a concerned friend. I really liked her. Yeah, I can tell. She's doing all right. We've moved on. So she's a free agent? Yeah. Excuse me. Why did I ever let that happen? Easier to play than a flaming triangle. Well, I didn't see it coming. No one did. Mm. She's clever. Mm. Something I'll never get accused of. Anyways, if Salad ever get involved in something like that, I should have done better than anybody. Listen, Tim, you've got to stop beating yourself up about it. Any fight you've got left, we need to save for Mum. She needs us. Yeah, not as much as I need her. Two whiskeys, please, Johnny. Right, you are. You celebrating? I wish. That makes two of us. Can you make that three, please, Johnny? You don't have to do that. You look like you need it. <sighs> so sell today. Is she all right? Well, not bad for someone who's banged up for something she hasn't done. I'm going to say so with her own flesh and blood. That's good. I'm being ironic. There you go, Chief. Keep the change. Cheers. Expend it. Stuff's money. Oh, should have got a double, then. Cheers. I never needed it. Seeing Sally in there, realising she was innocent, I felt sick. I deserved a slap. Let Duncan lead me by the nose. Well, that's what con artists do. Yes, it's a sight easier when people want to be conned. You want his side to get sent down. Sophie was right. I got too close to Tim. Let my fantasies run away from me. If Sally was guilty, then she'd be out of the way. It suited me to think the worst. I never realised. It's unforgivable. I could do that to my own sister. I hate myself. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, but I make too many. And there's no getting back from this one. So, I'm going to go to Newcastle and pick up the threads there. Nobody wants me around here. You can stop with us for as long as you need, when you get it sorted. Are you sure? Totally. And if you can't think of a way out of this, don't you worry. I will. Now, the Alberino grape is primarily grown in Galicia, which is in the northwest region of Spain. You can almost taste the Atlantic. Um, and is that a good thing? Well, try it. Oh, right. Cheers. Oh, it's nice. Exquisite, bursting with fruit. And it goes very well with their local dish, pulpo. Pulpo? Octopus. Oh, no. No, thank you. I'll stick to my chicken breasts. <laughs> Ooh. Um, well, the barber didn't take much off. Oh, I never made it. I got waylaid. Waylaid? Yes, I am, um, you know, something and nothing. Uh, I had some admin to catch up on, and then I went to the sales on my way back. I, I wanted a bag of other lovely pair of um, pearl cufflinks I'd seen in the sale, but they'd sold out. Oh, right. It's just that, um, well, Gail said she saw you with another woman. She wouldn't listen to a word I said. Well, I hate to say I told you so. But in this case, I'll make an exception. I had to do something. <laughs> we can't go in there, guns are blazing, can you, when you're firing blanks? You've got to sit back. 
Go to ground with something concrete. But we're running out of time. How's your financial advisor getting on? Well, he's managed to persuade Grant to open a high interest account. Well, that takes a few days and they transfer the money. You know what the banks are like at Christmas. Could be too late by then. Luis could be sipping margaritas in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> well, we've done our bit, haven't we? And if Grant chooses not to listen, well, that's her look at. Given that I was out shopping, I just to think what I was doing with this mystery woman, hmm? ravishing her in the middle of the ornamental fountain at the Trafford Centre. She said you met her at a hotel. And you believe her? No, I didn't say that. Well, then that. why bring it up? Because she was so certain. She was so specific. Yeah, certain that I'm no good for you. Oh. He wants to break us up at all costs. In her mind, that justifies any number of lies. I didn't ask her to forgive you, just to let us be happy. Well, I know that woman will never accept me. There's nothing she won't stoop to. But I can live with the hatred so long as I know I retain your trust. Lois, of course you do. I am so sorry I never meant to doubt you. And listen, I told her I didn't believe her, right? It's all right, darling. I know it's something you could never do. But you must believe me when I tell you I love you, Audrey and that you're absolutely essential to the future of any plans that I care to make. Okay? And we're back in Coronation Street for your New Year's Eve on Monday at 7.30. This weekend in the first instalment of the Star Wars sequel trilogy, The Force Awakens brings the network premiere on Sunday night at 8. Next this evening, putting some famous faces to the test with the ultimate quiz of the year, Replay 2018 with Richard Osman. <laughs> 